So I love the Criterion Collection. I'm trying to grow out my Criterion Collection. It is very small. I only have five at the moment. And uh, one of the things I noticed while going through my list of Criterions that I wanted to get, very few of them were animated films. And a company that specializes in putting out animated films, or not animated films, but films they believe are important to cinema, giving them the love and appreciation they deserve, how great would it be if they had a large catalog of some of the most underappreciated films and filmmakers out there? Animation directors, animators, things like that, and giving them a spotlight. And the ones they have put out are not very good. Um, so I'm going to get, I'm, here's my list of my top 10 animated films that I would like to see on the Criterion Collection. Now, uh, the ones they put out, uh, they put out Fantastic Planet, that is a great one, um, Watership Down, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Fantastic Mr. Fox is a weak one, because the only reason they put that out is because it's directed by Wes Anderson, and they tend to put out every Wes Anderson movie, um, Akira uh, was out on Laserdisc and things like that, some other anime movies and things like that. But what we have currently is very few and far between, and that's very sad. Now I'm going to give a list of honorable mentions. I have about three here. First one, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Um, I believe this is one of the most important animated films to ever exist. Uh, I think it's one of the greatest films ever made. And I consider it more light animated than live action, but that's just me. Um, and yeah, I would like to see this movie uh, on Criterion, but due to the fact it's a Disney film, I highly doubt that would ever happen. But we will see. And then uh, same with Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is the uh, is a, one of the best films ever made, I think, and. Definitely one of the best animated films. Uh, the work in, progress cut, work in Progress cut would be great to have on a Criterion Blu-ray. Don't think that will ever happen again to, to licensing with Disney. Um, and then another one I'd like to see is Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs is on honorable mentions because it's Wes Anderson. So more than likely it will be put out. But I just have it on the list because I'd like to see it be put out. But yeah, and then Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I just want to see it because it's Nightmare Before Christmas. So those are my honorable mentions. So let's get into the list. Number one, hey there, it's Yogi Bear. Now this one might seem like an odd one. Um, but this film actually does have some ex historical importance to it. This film is... A film based on the Yogi Bear, Hanna-Barbera character, obviously. And it is the first ever animated film based on a television program to be made into a film. Uh, an animated television program, that is. And so, yeah, this is a movie that's not been released on Blu-ray. It's only been out on DVD. And uh, it's, it's a fun movie. And it's not, like, a great movie, but... I would feel like this would be, with that kind of historical importance, I feel like that movie could get some love on the Criterion Collection. However, I don't think that will necessarily happen, but again, this is my list of things I would like to see, and so, yeah, I'm just going to put it there. The next one I would like to see is Animal Farm. Animal Farm is historically important for many reasons. Uh... First of all, classic novel. This is a film that I'm actually surprised the Criterion Collection has not touched because of the fact that this film is, um, it's, you know, it's one of the first films ever made by Britain, animated films, that is, and it is a great movie. Uh, the ending is different from the book, and I know that pisses a lot of people off with this animated film. Uh, this film, I believe in other countries, it's gotten Blu-ray releases, 
but here in the United States it has not had one, and it's a historically important film. It's based on a classic novel with political themes and things like that, and I feel like a movie like this would be perfect on the Criterion. This is one I could actually see happening down the road, but we'll see. Next up on this list, I would like to see Kubo and the Two Strings. Now, Kubo and the Two Strings is on Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray is okay. You know, it's not like a bad copy. I own it, um, but this film is uh, has some of the largest stop-motion models ever created. It's beautifully animated, and it's the type of film with the animation and stuff that would be perfect on the Criterion Collection, and I'd like to see this film come to the Criterion Collection. Um, so yeah, that's number three. Number four on this list is The Adventures of Mark Twain. This is a film directed by Will Vinton, the creator of the California Raisin stop motion commercials, several holiday specials. He's a legendary stop motion animated film, uh, animated, uh, animation, stop motion animation director. And this film is fantastic. Um, it's kind of darker than you would expect from this type of movie. It does a great job at translating Mark Twain's works and a lot of his quotes into a film. And it's been on Blu-ray before. I'd like to get it on Blu-ray. I think that Blu-ray is actually out of print, um, fortunately. But yeah, I don't know why this one hasn't quite hit um, Criterion. I could see this one happening in the near future also. Number five on my list is The Lamb Before Time. Now, there are 14 Lamb Before Time movies. All the direct-to-video sequels are only on DVD, but I just want the first one on Blu- or I have it on Blu-ray. And this Blu-ray is incredibly subpar. Uh, this Blu-ray runs about $10, which is not a terrible price, but absolutely has no special features. And no special features for this movie and it's and it is Don Bluth legendary animation director uh, one of the most famous animation directors of all time and I don't understand why this film has not hit the criterion I think more of his films should and it would be nice to actually have a version that has bonus features because as much as I would never watch the movie in HD sometimes I wish I would just settle with the DVD because the DVD actually has bonus features. Number six, American Tale. American Tale is the same story, no bonus features. And if they want to do this one, they could do a double pack with Five Old Goes West. Um, I don't see them doing Five Old Goes West though. And again, Don Bluth, animation director, famous, legendary, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, better Blu-rays from the Criterion Collection would be nice. So what are we at? Number seven? And number seven. The next one I would like to see. Hold on, I just went blank for a minute. The Plague Dogs. Now, I can see this one definitely happening very soon. This was on Blu-ray recently from Shout Factory. Uh, this film is made by the same people who did Watership Down. It is very similar in tone. So uh, it's kind of interesting that this film has actually not been released by the Criterion Collection because it seems like a perfect candidate for that, but it has not. Shout Factory did put out the Blu-ray, and sure, it's fine, but Shout Factory does not put Blu-rays out in the same quality that um, Criterion does. But they do put out good quality stuff, just not on the same level. And so it would just be nice for that to be there. Um... The next one I'd like to see is a complete collection of Hayao Miyazaki's films. Hayao Miyazaki is one of the, is no, not one of the, is the most famous anime director of all time. He has made some of the greatest anime films, and before you get after me, anime, animated, they're still using the same principles. They're both animation. Shut up. <laughs> Hayao Miyazaki is um, one of the greatest anime directors, has some of the greatest catalog from Nausicaa to, um, to just everything he's directed from Studio Ghibli except with some exceptions like The Wind Rises and stuff. I don't understand why these have not been put out. Um, I want to see Lupin the Third 
as part of his catalog come out. I don't want a complete collection of all these movies, so that would be nice. It would be very difficult because there are, yes, a lot of these anime films do come under the same level of Studio Ghibli, but um, some of them don't, like Nausicaa, kind of Studio Ghibli, kind of not. Um, and then we have, uh, we have other things like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, Lupin the Third, which isn't owned by them, stuff like that. That one is actually coming to 4K, but still Criterion would be better uh, than a 4K. And it's very rare I will ever say that, but yeah, I would like to see that happen. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my number eight pick on this list. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine, number nine, number nine. I would like to see. I'm trying to remember what what was on my list. I have two more picks, but I'm can't. I for some reason I'm going blank. Dang it! I've really went blank. That's so. This is really embarrassing. I do want to see. Akira. Akira is one of the best animated films ever, and it was on Laserdisc. This is one that they've talked about re-releasing, but it's just like they've taken so long to do that. It's kind of gotten ridiculous, so it does need to be on this list. And I also just believe that we should also have one for Ghost in the Shell. One of the greatest anime films ever made, and would be nice to have some love on the Criterion Collection. So that is my list of the top 10 animated films that I believe should be on the Criterion Collection. If you have any that suggestions for films that you should put it, uh, that you'd like to see on the Criterion da Collection, put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think and like, share, and subscribe and do all that. And please do subscribe because I'm trying to get my channel by the end of March to 200 subs. We are at 183 and I was hoping by the end of 2020 we would be up to 200 subs but we didn't quite get there but we did get to 183 which I'm happy about any amount my channel grows is, is a success in my eyes just it's always better to grow more